Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, I'm Akila Ramadhani Haryana Kita and my partner Nazwa Rizkia Safitri. We are from SMA Semesta Semarang. In this video, we are going to present our project with a title Why Pumps? Water Hyacin and Coconut Fiber Nanofiltration Stroke. Manufacturing activated carbon based from water hyacin and coconut fiber to overcome iron contamination in household water. For humans, water is not simply a vital need to our bodies, it is also a resource we benefit from every day. Unfortunately, changes in the environmental condition make the reduction of water quality and availability. One of the examples of water contamination in Indonesia found in Dusun Kepo, Gunung Pati, Semarang. The condition of the water used for household purposes there is yellow, smells, and has corrosive deposits. This shows that this water condition doesn't meet the standards according to regulation of the Minister of Health in Indonesia. Contamination of iron in water can cause pipe blockage. This is due to the corrosive deposits that caused by iron containing water. Meanwhile, water that contains high level of iron can cause dangerous diseases in the human body such as poisoning, bleeding gums, cancer, and numerous other conditions. One of the methods that can be used to reduce iron contamination in water is adsorption. Adsorption is the process of adsorbing fluid particles by a solid adsorbent or a solid thing that has an ability to adsorb fluid particles. In this research, we use active carbon from coconut fiber waste and water hyacin because coconut fiber waste contain lignin, cellulose, and hemicellulose. Meanwhile, for the water hyacin, it can form phytochelatin which is a peptide compound that can bind large amount of metal ions. In other hand, we choose coconut fiber and water hyacin because of their availability is abundant in the environment and that can cause environmental problems. Based on the background, the problem can be formulated as how are the characteristics of nanocarbon, how effective it is, and how to design the white cons. From those formulation of the problem, it is possible to state that our purposes are The first is to obtain information about the characteristic of the carbon The second is knowing the effectiveness of the carbon for adsorption And designing a simple filtration device called Y-Cons We conduct this project at the Universitas Negeri Semarang Chemistry Lab and SMA Semesta Semarang Biology Lab Next, we are going to explain about the research procedure the first one is by making carbon from coconut fiber waste and water hyacinth and then we use microwave to make it, then grinding it into nanoscale. And the second step is to determination of maximum absorption capacity of nano coconut fiber and nano water hyacinth to iron ions. Next, we characterize the nano coconut fiber and nano water hyacinth using infrared spectrophotometers to determine whether the functional groups or substances can attach iron or not. And the last step is to design the white cones. We need to pay attention to the straw design correctly so the carbon does not leak into the water. Next, we're going to explain about the result and analysis. The first one is characterization of nano coconut fiber and nano water hyacinth. From the result of the observation, we can see that the morphological structures of nano coconut fiber by using a scanning electron microscope, it combination between fibers, crystal, and filament, and it contains functional groups hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide. And for the water hyacinth, it has morphological structure of fibers and filament, and for the functional group, it has hydroxide and carbon monoxide. And from the functional group carbon monoxide, there's an electrostatic interaction that occurs between the iron and the carboxylic acids. Based on the nanoparticle size, Averagely, the size of nano coconut fiber is 1.2 micrometers, but there's also with the size 1.8 nanometers. And for the nano water hyacinth, carbon average size are 3.1 micrometers, but there's also with the size 2 until 150 nanometers. This shows that the carbon are successfully made into nano size. To know the effectivity of the carbon, we started by determining the maximum absorption time. It can be seen that coconut fiber has a higher ability to absorb iron ions as much as 54% within one hour. Actually, we also try for two hours, but the increasing number is not significant. Well, for the water hyacinth, it can absorb 18% within 30 minutes. But because we will combine these two components, that's why 60 minutes was chosen for maximum absorption time. 
Next is the effectivity of adsorption of iron. We use different ratios in this experiment. We use 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 1, 3 to 7, and 7 to 3 ratios. And the best adsorption is by using ratio 7 to 3 because it can adsorb from 95 until 96% from the total iron. The following is the design and final product of Wicons. This product is made of a water pipe complete with a lid that has a water hose which connected to a water pump. It contains a combination of nano coconut fiber and nano water hyacinth with a ratio of 7 to 3. At both ends, it is filled with cotton cloth like a tea bag to prevent nano carbon particles from being carried along with the filtrate. The filtrate was then tested using potassium thiocyanate and sulfuric acid to check the presence of the iron contamination in water. The change of the water color into yellowish orange indicated that this water contains iron. As this picture shows, the sample of water we took from Dusun Kepo Gunung Pati Semarang contained iron. But after we filter it using white cons, the test shows that the filtrate is not containing iron anymore. The conclusion of our research are, the first is the morphological structures and the functional groups analysis shows that it supports the nanocarbon to adsorb more irons into water. The second is the effectiveness of activated carbon is in ratio 7 to 3. And the third is the design of Wycans can be used to reduce iron contamination in water. And the suggestions for future research are In large application, it is necessary to pay attention to the selection of the right pump so it can increase the speed of water movement. And then it is necessary to choose the right pipe so that no leaks occur when water enters. And the last one, it is necessary to modify the use of cottons with addition of another material so it can be used for a longer period of time. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. I'm Akila Ramadhani Haryarukita. And I'm Nazwa Rizkiya Safitri. Because water is life. So don't forget to maintain our life. Why can't? Why not? Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.